Hello and welcome to another quick video. I've got, if you watched the last video, I built up some of the uh, pre-charge slash voltage sense circuits and I've mounted them conveniently to the side of the contactors and they're not wired up yet because as I said in the last video, and all the right size uh, uh, ring terminals, I'll have to go buy some, but that's what those two wires go to and I've got the one over here so it's kind of buried in here. Uh, actually, you know what? We could, we could unplug this. It just comes out. So you can see. It'll focus. There you go. So we've got uh, input voltage sense and pre-charge circuit. And same thing, the blue wires just need to be connected. Ring terminals hooked up there. And then that's it for all the high voltage wiring. Um, after that, everything is low voltage, and uh, we're just going to hook everything up to the uh, DMOC adapter here. This has been repurposed to be the brains of the operation, and um, we'll be using some of these little expansion connectors that uh, didn't do anything. And uh, yeah, so um, if you noticed all the little boards, they have little two pin headers on them, and that's because I've got a bunch of these little old PC uh, connectors, so, you know, I'll we'll have fan connectors and hard drive connectors and, you know, whatever, uh, power. So, I got a whole bunch of those, and uh, I got a whole box full of them, and that will, uh, they're all nice little twisted pair, and we'll solder them directly into here, kind of like this one. And then let's get our power out. And uh, yeah, so we've got that. Got a little bit of code to write, and everything goes good. We'll have uh, be able to start powering uh, motor controllers and testing battery chargers and stuff. I still need to get my uh, power resistor, big power resistor here. I want to get something in the, uh, you know, something one to two kilowatt power resistor to get bolted right here. This is a giant heat sink, so should be fine. Uh, don't know if I need any cooling yet. Uh, probably could just either put a little... I got a bunch of little fans. I might just do that, or I could... I have the original fan for it, but it's huge. It's two big, really, really, really big, loud fans, so... Maybe I just box it off and then run a couple high static pressure fans, just push air through the whole heat sink. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. See how hot it actually gets in practice. Um, <clears throat> got the current sensors to uh, wire up, and uh, yeah, I think that's it. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching.